I'm going to read another Clifford book today. Today's story is Clifford's Family by Norman Bridwell. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog. His name is Clifford. We live in a small town now, but we were both born in the city. One day, we went back to visit our old home in the city. Clifford hadn't seen his mother since he was a tiny puppy. She hardly knew him. There's Clifford's mommy. She still treated him like a puppy. She checked his teeth and she looked in his ears to see if he had been washing them. The man told us where Clifford's brother and sisters lived. We went to find them. Clifford's sister Claudia lived nearby. She was taking her owner for a walk. We went to the park with them. A taxi was blocking the crosswalk. There's the taxi blocking the way. Clifford took care of that. He just picked that taxi up. Next, we found his brother Nero. Nero was a rescue dog at a fire station. There's Nero. While we were there, the alarm rang. We followed the fire truck. Nero rushed into the building. Goes Nero inside the building. Clifford helped him. Clifford's helping him get out of the fire. Nero was very brave. Then we went off to the country. Clifford's other sister, Bonnie, was a farm dog. There's Bonnie. One of Bonnie's jobs was to herd sheep into the pen. Clifford wanted to do some farm work too. He started to drive the cows toward the barn. One of the cows was a bull, and bulls don't like the color red. Uh-oh. Clifford wasn't scared. He didn't want to hurt the bull, so he jumped out of the way. When Clifford jumps, he really jumps. He jumps so high. We had one more place to visit. It was Clifford's father's home in a town nearby. The house was small and there were a lot of kids playing in the yard. Clifford's father didn't have a collar or a dog leash or a dog house, but he seemed very happy. Here's Clifford's daddy. I guess it was the kids. He sure loved kids. He was a lot like Clifford, just a little smaller. Clifford wished his family could come and live with us, but they all had people who needed them, just as I need Clifford, the best dog of all. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that Clifford book. I'll see you next time.